Good afternoon, my dear students. Introduce myself. My name is Muhammad Bahuddin, working as an assistant professor in ISL Engineering College, which is located in Hyderabad, which is operated by Usmania University, Hyderabad. So, I am dealing the subject of finite element analysis for third year student for three two students the first of all we have to know about what are the syllabus according to OU we need to cover in unit wise the first in the unit first in which we are going to learn the topic is introduction to the finite element method for solving the field problem and stress and equilibrium and boundary condition method strain displacement and stress strain relationships in the finite element methods and one dimension problem finite element molding coordinate and shape function potential energy approach and assembly of global stiffness matrix and load vector finite element equation and treatment of boundary condition Galerkin approach method and quadratic shape functions we are going to learn in unit first in unit seconds in which we are going to learn regarding the analysis of trusses and frames we are going to learn in unit second and in the unit seconds in which we are going to learn regarding the element stiffness matrix for a truss member and analysis of plane truss with two at each node analysis of frame with two translation and rotational degree of freedom at each node we are going to cover in unit second and one more topic in the unit second is analysis of beam analysis of beam in which we are going to learn regarding the element stiffness matrix for two nodes two degree of freedom per node we are going to learn in unit second in unit third we are going to learn regarding the finite element molding of two dimensional stress analysis with constant strain triangle and treatment of boundary condition in unit third we are going to learn regarding the finite element molding of axis symmetric solid subjected to the axis symmetric loading with triangular element we are going to learn in the unit fourth sorry unit third in the unit fourth we are going to learn regarding the two dimensional four noded isoparametric element and numerical integrations we are going to learn in the unit fourth and steady straight heat transfer analysis one dimensional analysis of fin and two dimension dimensional analysis of a thin plate we are going to learn in the unit fourth and the analysis of a circular shaft subjected to torsion we are going to learn in the unit fourth in unit fifth in which we are going to learn regarding the dynamic analysis in which we are going to cover the topic is formulations of finite element model and element matrices and evolutions of Egan value and Egan vector for a step bar and a beam in the unit fifth again we go we are going to learn regarding the time dependent field problem we are going to learn in the unit fifth 
and in the unit fifth again we are going to learn regarding the applications to the one dimensional heat flow in a rod convergence requirement introduction to the finite element analysis software we are going to learn in the unit fifth the first of all we are going to learn in the unit first is introduction to the finite element method for solving field problem we are going to learn in the unit first okay so generally we know very well before learning of introduction to the finite element method for the solving field problem first of all we have to know about this subject this finite element this subject is called in a different name we can say as finite element method sometime we can say as finite element analysis or sometime we can say as modeling of finite element of analysis so this engineering problem solutions is broadly classified into two type the first type we can say as mathematical model and second method we can say as experimental method this mathematical model is also broadly classified into two type first one we can say as analytical method second method we can say as a numerical method the first of all we are going to learn regarding the analytical method so this analytical method also called as classical method what we can say here this analytical method also called as classical method so analytical method will give the 100% accurate result if you follow the analytical method this analytical method is a close form solutions is it right as well as this analytical method is applicable only for the simple problem like simply support beam overhanging beam cantilever beam fixed beam problem it is applicable but this analytical method it is not applicable for the complex problem is it right it is only applicable for the simple problem like cantilever beam simply support beam overhanging beam fixed beam fixed beam problem we can easily solve with the help of analytical method if you follow the analytical method then you will get the 100% accurate result with the help of analytical method and second method what we can say numerical method the numerical method is a mathematical representation method so in the numerical methods we are not getting the 100% accurate result we are getting the approximate assumption mode we are getting with the help of numerical methods so numerical method is a real life complex problem we can easily solve with the help of numerical method as well as we can easily solve simple problem like simple support beam cantilever beam or angling beam fixed beam we can easily solve with the help of numerical methods also meanwhile we can solve the complex problem with the help of numerical method but numerical method in which they have the small disadvantage is there that the result cannot be blue blindly in the numerical method so the result cannot be blue blindly certain result must be validated by the experimental method or by the analytical method like we have to follow the method like finite element method f e m is stand for finite element method b e m stand for boundary element method and f v e m is stand for finite value method and f d e m is nothing but finite difference method okay so already we understood that 
the mathematical model is broadly classified into two type first one is analytical method another one is numerical method if you follow the analytical method then you will get the 100 percent accurate result but if you follow the numerical method you will not get the 100 percent result you, you will get the approximate assumption mode you will get as well as this analytical method is is applicable only for the simple problem but numerical method is uh, applicable for the simple problem meanwhile it's applicable for the complex problem we can easily solve with the help of numerical method is it right again we are going to discuss about experimental method okay dear so experimental method is an actual measurement method okay so that's if you follow the experimental methods it will time consuming method and we need experience setup we need required for the experimental method so this experimental method is uh, is applicable only if physical prototype model if it is available then only we can perform the experiment on it is it right if the prototype model is not available we cannot perform we cannot perform the experiment on it is it right for that reasons we are required the physical prototype must and should is required for the experimental methods as well as in the rest in the experimental method in which the result cannot be believed blindly minimum three to five prototype must be tested for example strain gauge thermal camera accelerometer that is the example of the experimental method again we are going to discuss about the different numerical method so different numerical methods is one already we have studied that numerical method is it right so different we are discussing about different numerical method how many methods already we have studied four method is it right the first method already i told you what is the method name is there finite element method second method we are going to discuss regarding the boundary element method third method what we can say finite value method and fourth method what we can say finite difference method fourth method we can say the first of all we are going to learn regarding the finite element method we are going to discuss okay this what is the finite element method this finite element method is a popular numerical technique use so in which they follow you with met which method they followed here numerical technique they use in the finite element methods to determine the approximate solutions so if you follow the finite element methods in which you will not get the 100 percent accurate results you will get the approximate solutions you will get the 99 percent you will get with the help of finite element method so this finite element method to determine the approximate solutions for the partial differential equation so it is applicable the applications of the finite element method is it is used for solving for solving the problem like linear problem we can easily solve with the help of finite element method as well as we can easily solve the non-linear problem we can easily solve with the help of finite element methods as well as we can solve the buckling problem we can solve the thermal problem and we can solve the statics problem and we can solve the dynamics problem and we can solve the fatigue analysis problem we can easily solve with the help of finite element method is it right again i will repeat this finite element method is a popular numerical technique used to determine the approximate solution for the partial differential equations so it is applicable for the linear problem nonlinear problem buckling problem thermal problem static problem dynamic problem and fatigue analysis problem we can solve with the help of finite element method okay and second method we are going to discuss regarding the boundary element boundary element method okay so boundary element method is a powerful and efficient technique to solve the acoustic or noise noise vibration and harshness problem we can easily solve with the help of boundary element method and so 
in the boundary element methods it is a similar to the finite element method but it also in the boundary element method it also required the nodes and elements we are required in the boundary element method what are the extra things we required in the boundary element method here we are required the nodes and we are required the elements is we are required in the boundary element method but in the boundary element method it only consider the outer boundary of the domain okay it will not be considered the inside boundary of the domain it will consider only order boundary of the domain so that's what we can say as boundary element method so when the problem of value only outer surface we need to consider if value problem is came in which we need to consider only outer surface we need to consider if domain of area outer periphery we need to consider in the boundary element methods okay dear so let us consider here i am giving example here this is the first node and second node if so in the boundary element method we are extra we are considering the nodes and element how what is a node and element elements nothing but the joining the first entity to second entity they forming of element even and this is the first node second node third node and fourth node if you are joining the node from the first node to second node the forming of element e1 if you are joining the node from the second node to the fourth node the forming of element e2 if you are joining the node 4 to 3 the forming of element e3 okay if you are joining the node from 3 to 1 the forming of element e4 so in which i told you in the boundary element methods we also require the nodes as well as we require the element to consider the outer boundary of the domain purpose we are using the nodes and elements are you got my point here then again we are going to discuss regarding the finite value method this finite value method representing and evaluating a partial differential equation the finite value method representing and evaluating a partial differential equations the algebraic equation method is used in many computational fluid dynamics problem so finite element method is suitable for solving the computational fluid dynamics problem as well as it is suitable for the computational electromagnetic problem we can easily solve with the help of finite value method okay and fourth one we are going to discuss regarding the finite difference method so in the finite difference method in which we are use the taylor series the taylor series convert the differential equation to the algebraic equation in the finite difference method we are i am using the taylor series the taylor series convert the differential equation to the algebraic equation it is used in a combination of finite value method and boundary element method to solve the thermal problem and solve the cfd computational fluid dynamics problem we can easily solve with the help of finite difference method so dear if you have any doubt regarding this session please write down in the comment box and please please don't forget to subscribe and like my channel thank you dear